So like this one. We need to factor this out, but now it's equal to zero. So as long as we can get those two polynomials to equal zero, one at a time, then we have our two answers for x that make this a true statement. So <clears throat> there's no common factors for all three of these. We can't factor out a two or a three or a five. So, <clears throat> um, well, let's look at a times b, right? So it's kind of like we're just ignoring the zero for now and just factoring 12x squared plus 5x minus 2. And so I got a, which is 12, times b, which is, uh, c rather, which is negative 2. And that gives us negative 24. I need two factors of 24 that add up to 5. Well, negative 24, sorry. And I'm going to say 3 and 8, negative 3 and positive 8. Because when I add these together, I get my B value, which is 5. So I'm going to split 5 up into negative 3x and plus 8x. Then minus 2, that equals 0. And the 12x squared. So we're factoring by grouping. Let's look at the first two. Looks like we can factor out a 3x from both these. So we've got 4x minus 1. And from the second set, I appear to be able to factor out a positive 2, which gives me 4x minus 1. And all this stuff equals 0. <clears throat> so I've got 4x minus 1 and 3x minus, uh, sorry, plus 2. And all this stuff equals 0. So if I look at my first set of parentheses, 4x minus 1, if I can get that to equal 0, true statement, okay? So we'll add 1 to both sides. And I got 4x equals 1. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals 1 fourth. And you should check that, but we're kind of run out of time. And then on the other hand, we've got this 3x plus 2. We need it to equal 0. So I'll subtract 2 from both sides. I've got 3x equals negative 2. And divide both sides by 3. And x is negative 2 thirds. Again, you should be checking your work on those. But it still is optional.